I've had a set of wireless headphones before then, one of the best benefits is that you can use them in a room without disturbing other people. So if you need to listen to the television real loud, you can put these on and whoever's in the room with you can either be listening to music, for example, or reading a book without you disturbing them. Uh, conversely, you can use them at night when you're watching TV in the bedroom without waking your partner. So lots of advantages to them, but, but let's see them in operation now. Right, so we've got these new wireless headphones, basically to replace um, Bluetooth ones that we were using with both the uh, Xbox and the TV. And to use Bluetooth, we actually had to use a Bluetooth sender unit and this because the TV, although it's a Samsung and a recent one, a 4K one, it doesn't actually do um, uh, Bluetooth. So this is what we've been using. However, my son keeps breaking all the Bluetooth headphones. So we've had something like this in the past and I wanted to get it again, primarily because I tend to feel that you get less lag than with a Bluetooth headset and you also um, you can go for a further distance as well. So if we have a look at this, I was around about £70, but they're absolutely fantastic. If I just turn them on using this button here. Right, now that basically means it's charging and they charge when you put them on. They charge on this, this top here. So we just pop that down you can see that they're charging uh, and on the front as well as the on off button you've got this for the decibels now basically not decibels that's that's your normal thing what it suggests is if you're putting a dvd into it um for some apparent reason it's supposed to be louder so if you drop it down to minus eight decibels it just reduces that slightly you've also got your optical uh, and your auxiliary there so you've got an optical input and an auxiliary input and if i just take the headphones off for a second and spin this round You'll see on the back, you've got your power input, your auxiliary input, and your optical input. Now the optical input is going into the optical out from the television, which is fantastic. Your auxiliary, we well, can use that for numerous things. So for example, if you wanted to um, be listening to the music on your phone or, um, or something like that, you could, you could run it from your phone, the auxiliary cable into the back of this and then you could walk all over the place and have your headphones with the uh, with your phone in front of you so that's a good thing right now we'll have a look at the headphones themselves okay so if we're having a look at the headphones if we look at this first you've got your line in so even if the batteries had run out on this you could put your line in so your auxiliary again from your device so it could be your phone or anything like that and it'll play into the into the headphones uh, you've got your equaliser on the side there, which is a, a bit gimmicky, but it's there anyway. And there's your power on off button. So if we just power it on by using the on button there, press that on. You see the light come on there and then that's it. You're ready to roll. And obviously, if we look at this, you've got usual foam ear cups, which are, are nice on top. You've got hard plastic there, but you tend not to feel that in all honesty because it's a uh, it's cancelled out by by the form that's underneath there and again let's just pop it back on and you'll see it starts charging straight away so a couple of other cables that you get with it as well as the optical cable is this one which is your audio left and right with uh, an aux cable connector there and you would run the you, we got an, we got an aux cable with it an auxiliary cable unfortunately we've uh, we've misplaced that but that would run from this into the aux um, input on the back of the unit uh, or you could use that from from anywhere basically so so that's what the aux cable for and that's what these are for that you get supplied uh, and pretty much once it's charged you are ready to go so that's a recommendation jensen what do you think i think it's really good and it's a very big step up from the wired ones excellent stuff yeah that's what that's what i've found with with these if you if you're wired you're just so restricted i'm just going to show you the distance that i've tested this to i'm just going to pause for a second okay so you can see them on now and with them being over the ear ones it's also blocking a lot of noise out around but with regard to the distance well if you just have a look down there that's nearly 60 feet away and we're going through one two three four five five um, concrete block walls and it'll pick it up just about down there. So it's supposed to be as far as 50 meters, but if it can go through these walls all the way down to there, that's fantastic. 
Um, yeah, so it's a recommendation. They will turn off automatically um, if it drops below certain voltage, so they're running out of charge, or if the um, if there's no uh, audio input for about five minutes, if I'm not mistaken, they'll turn off then as well. So yeah, all in all, big recommendation.